combining typically thick cover and the stamina of the animal, it's relatively unusual for a buffalo to immediately succumb to even a perfectly placed bullet. In open cover, some PHs will immediately dash forward trying to keep the buffalo in sight. It's more common to stand still and listen for the death bellow. Now the death bellow is common and it's reasonably certain, but it's not always definitive. I, I've heard a buffalo that gave a death bellow and, and then got up, so one never throws caution to the winds. Either way, follow your professional hunter's lead and before moving, engage your safety and keep your muzzle pointed in a safe direction and be ready. That is buffalo hunting. Your professional hunter and perhaps the trackers have, have observed the hit or hits and based on experience, they're gonna have a reasonable idea of the situation, but some hits are better than they look and others are worse. Unless it's believed the shots weren't well placed, the initial follow-up is generally conducted with the hope and, and perhaps belief that the buffalo is down. This doesn't mean throwing caution to the wind. Your professional hunter is in charge and he's done this before. Well, what I'd like to do is we'll walk up here shoulder to shoulder. It's always the dead ones that kill us, so let's just show them some respect up here. And we always give an insurance shot as well, but I'll show you exactly when. Yeah. And if he does come, just take your time and make sure of your, of your shots. And if we have a little bit of distance, one is straight in the chest first, and then load your second round nice and calmly and wait for a really close brain shot. Very good. Place yourself where he tells you and proceed carefully. Rifle fully loaded, on safe, controlled by both hands, muzzle in a safe direction. When the buffalo is spotted, whether standing or down, shoot again on your pH's instruction and place your shot as well as you can. If the buffalo is still standing within a hundred yards or so of the initial hit, you can generally assume that he's hit hard. But now there's an extreme likelihood of a charge if he sees you approaching and if he has enough stamina remaining. I've never seen anything like it. I never thought I'd be in a vehicle and have a buffalo charge, but it, that sure is all what happened. I'd have hated been on foot. If the buffalo is down when spotted, that's good news, but that doesn't mean he can't get up until you've made absolutely certain that he can't. Approach from the rear of the animal, if at all possible. Avoid eye contact. When you get close enough and, and you can see the angle, this is a good place to put an insurance shot in, into the neck or into the spine or, or into the chest from the brisket. That's him. Don't approach the animal closely until you're absolutely sure that he's down and out. Well done, brother. Thank you. Well done, Jason. You have yourself a fine butler.